Hey folks, Flip here, and welcome to Empire's SMP. Today, we are finally doing it. It is time to build the Mega Base. No more shall we have a stone box sitting in the sky. Today, it becomes build. Big build. But first, we need to clean up the base a bit, as yeah, it's been bothering me a lot too. Be sure to leave a like down below, and please subscribe if you're new. We are flying towards 750,000 subs already. What? Okay, let's go. Before we dive into that, I want to spend some time making the base look uh, a touch nicer, we could say. Landing on the disgusting dripstone farm will clean up the bamboo and all these things, but first and foremost, what I want to start out with is that creeper farm right over there. You might remember a few episodes ago, Jem gave us a bunch, and I mean a bunch, of amethyst shards. And I already have a bunch of glass too. So we put the pen and the apple together and we get a lot of tinted glass. With one shulker box cleared here, I wanna see how far this is going to get us. My plan right now is to fill everything right along here going all the way up with tinted glass just to block the light from getting in. Meaning we can remove that giant disgusting cobblestone slab platform up there. Now I know this isn't gonna make the place look perfect, but it's at least gonna help a touch with making this a little bit nicer. Eventually my goal is to hide this entire thing, but at least for now we can make it smaller so it's not just completely ruining the view of the mountains. Oh, uh, hi, hi there guys. Uh, if you're looking for the Crystal Cliffs Magic School, it's right around the corner over there. Just keep on walking around that way. You'll, you'll find it. You can't miss it. There's giant dragons in the sky. Well, there we have the first inventory full of the tinted glass and it got us honestly more than halfway done. So that's, that's sweet. I like that. Oh, look at them. They're headed off to the magic school. All right. That is all of it. That's the rest of what we have. Unless I have my own amber, the shards back here, we've got a few, but not, not enough. Now I'll be honest. Um, I'm just hoping that this works, by the way. I haven't tested this at all. I really hope we're not just killing the creeper farm by doing this. And here we go. The last little bit is now in. And I think with that, we can remove the roof. Yes. Okay, perfect. That is looking so much better. Now, I know this isn't going to look amazing. I, I know that for sure. This is just going to look less bad. It's not going to look good, just less bad. We still have to figure out a more permanent solution to this one. And I think it comes in the route of more terraforming. The last slabs are being taken off now, and I'm uh, I'm a little worried. How bad does this look? Oh, not too bad. We can almost turn it into like a silo for storing the gunpowder or the fallen logs residue something after we smelt them all down from chopping the jungle here soon but if you saw my last hardcore episode i've had enough jungle chopping for a little while so i think we're gonna wait on that one now to make sure the farm still works we got that way through 26 gunpowder in there i'm gonna pick up these slabs just so that we have them if we need them or most of them despawn that's fine but to just verify and make sure we didn't ruin the creeper farm let's land up here and just afk for like two minutes to make sure we get a little bit more gunpowder down there Pix is online right now, so he might have some of the mob cap. Literally just need one gunpowder to trickle into that to make sure I didn't ruin everything. Time for the grand reveal of the creeper farm. Did we break it or does it still work? Ah, we got 20 more. It works, my friends. It works. Yes. <laughs> I didn't do all this and ruin the creeper farm. Yay, we can keep moving on. Speaking of keeping on inside the world here, my friends, look who just logged on. Mythical Sausage, the man of the hour that owes us a few different favors. And I think it's time to pay him a visit to cash in on him. Hello? Oh, oh hi. Come on in. Come on in. Hi, oh, how you doing, welcome. bud? How you, I got oh, this on my way over good. here. It's for you. I brought a gift. Oh, wow. Oh, this is great. Oh, you were crying on the way. Well, yeah, I just, you I feeling? Showed some tears. I'm so oh, excited no. to come over and hang out with my buddy. I was just oh, tears of happiness and joy and oh, everything yes. like that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, hey, you know what? Anyways, anyways, how's the, how's the intern of the Wither Rose Alliance doing? How you doing? I mean, oh, sorry, initiate, great. initiate. What? Not, initiate? Not, uh, Wait, I'm not yeah. an intern. Wait, am I getting, I'm not getting paid for this. Yeah, that's right. No. I'm yeah. Oh yeah. Intern. So you're intern. Yeah. 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 Oh, I'm ready. I'm ready to work. Put me to work, sir. Let's go. Da -da. Okay, that's uh, all right. All right, a little weird, a little weird, a little <laughs> weird. Um, I need to improve the creeper farm because it's uh, it's a little slow on the gunpowder front right now because I built this oh. giant mountain range, and I need you yeah. to help me light yes. it up. Oh, perfect! As long as you provide the the torches, I got this because I ain't got no coal. I wasted all of my super stubble. Um, I got thirteen. We'll be fine. We'll 13. be fine. Yeah. All right, let's get out of here. Onward. <laughs> let's what get to work. What is that? It's my fall sweater. 
Oh, it's adorable. With a nice little scarf. Yes, we yeah. match. We're scarf bros now. Look at your scarf. Oh, my gosh. Look at my scarf. It's an orangey scarf. It's so nice. It's perfect yeah. for, for fall and for some pumpkin latte. Oh, man. Actually, I can fly better with that scarf. Yeah, I know. I, dude, it's something about being an aviator and wearing a scarf. You just like plus 10 flying skills. Oh, yes. You have any extra goggles? I do not. Nope. You got to find your own. Okay, that's fine. Hi. Yeah, no, these, we could just... Yeah, they just gotta position, stay closed. And yeah, then if no. If you leave them open, it'll it'll stop projectiles. There's a draft in here. There's a draft in here. We oh. need them closed because it's a little chilly. Oh, 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 oh a little chilly. Oh, okay, all right, you want to go yeah. ahead? I got. Look at all these. Look at all these guys right there. You want to go ahead and oh, throw wow. that pool in there? Grab yes. some torches and let's get rocking. Oh. oh, this this hole. Oh yeah, no, all of this. We got three mountains to torch up here, bud. Wouldn't it have been easier just to you know put it down first and then build them up? Nah. No, you might want to set your spawn, by the way. Yeah, I'm going to die. Come on, let's get to work. We got to start placing the torches. Stop. This is my brand new scarf. Get out of here. Where did he? Oh, he's up there. Oh, yep. How's he doing? Okay, he's got He's got a few oh, friends. He's got a few I'm friends. having a good time. I'm having a good time. I'm just you look like you're having a great crossbow. time. Thanks for the hell. Oh, man, you're doing oh, a great job. Look at you. Great. Oh, deal with the, oh. dealing with the mobs. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate nice. that. Oh, the things I do to get back in this alliance. This is fantastic. I'll do it. That is fine. This is looking good. I think this is, is this it? No, we got the whole extra mountain range to do. Don't you worry. This is the easy part. You ready? It's right down yeah. here. We just gotta, oh, we just gotta do everything inside of this. Oh, wow! This is so much. This is way too. How <laughs> is there so much space here? How? How? I underestimated the size of this big giant hole. Well, there's a few zombies down here. Look at all these guys. Look at all of them. They're so cute, and they're holding little little gifts of dirt. They're just like we're bringing your dirt out. back to you. Oh, they're so yeah. kind. They're all holding dirt. <laughs> is this part of, part of that old cult I heard about? That double dirt cult from back in the day? Oh yeah, yeah, no, nah, it's it's always been here. Yeah, um, I don't mean to I don't mean to be like, hey, by the way, we've got some more work to do. Uh, but this entire yeah. wall right in front of us here, yeah, it's a it's a fake. It's a it's a no, fake. No, it's not. Yeah. What do you mean it's fake. There's yeah, yeah, yeah. Side. No, just we're doing a great job here. I just want to you know level set with you for everything else we got yeah. going on. Come on down this way. Oh. oh. There's more. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's this great, is isn't it? Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look at this guy. He's a yeah, yeah. Boy. He look right through here. Are you for real right now? <laughs> How is this still keep going? It's like a, it's endless. Yeah, Come so on. we got this one to do too. So make sure you plot that in for the amount of torches you got there. Oh, it's fine. Oh, oh this is good. This is fine. <laughs> for the alliance. <laughs> did it. We did it. It's done. Easy. Easy. There we go. Yep. Just Look this big that. old hill right over here in front of us. That's got a lot of spawnable oh. spaces on it. Yeah. Here you go. Here you go. I got another stack of torches right there for you. Ready to go. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Okay. Here I go. I'm going to fly into it. You're ah. doing a great job. Got him. Oh, very nice. Oh, I'm doing it. I'm d oh, look at that. Bang, 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 bang. Oh, look at all these torches. Isn't it so nice down here? It's so much wow. calmer. It's really, really inviting. Oh, you got a friend behind oh, yeah. you. Oh, that's pretty cool. Let, 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 let him live. Let him live. He's, he's been through enough. His whole family's dead. Yeah, the double dirt cult down here was disbanded, so we probably should be a little nice to him. Yeah, yeah oh, we got another much. one down. All right, well, I got one more job, so I got one more, one more, one more favor, what? so we got that. Something still. else? How many? Oh, yeah. I've, okay, I've redeemed yeah. two. I got I got one more, and then I still got the Mythical Sausage IOU from uh, cleaning the crystals oh, out. So that it's, thing. Yeah. For cleaning the crystals. Yeah, the crystals that are completely all gone. I got, yeah, perfect, perfect. Now that that's all done with, the Creeper Farm should be at almost full efficiency again, which I'm super excited about. And now, now we should probably deal with these things over here. So first and foremost, let's just get rid of the bamboo. I always forget you can use a sword for this. I can't bring myself to harvest potatoes in this world here too. So we're just gonna TNT him. Much better. Now, finally, for the dripstone farm. This thing, I wish I harvested it more often so we could have more of them, but I think we need to make an actual industrial version of this here soon that will automatically harvest it all for us. But now for the fun task of making these all fall, and if anything was down there, it'd be dead. Now, the last farming item we have over here is all of the pumpkins and melons, which I don't think I've ever harvested, and I've absolutely no need to since we have a double pumpkin melon farm in the base. Why I kept this here, don't know. But there we go, a little bit of fall cleaning done here, my friends, and that actually looks so much better. I should have done this earlier. Yep, uh-huh, shouldn't have ignored the comments for that long. 
Now I keep seeing this chest right here, and what is it? Read me, book and quill, unsigned. Worrying, okay. Dear Flip, I need some beautiful flags for the almighty Cod Empire. I mean, the, the average Cod Empire, do we wanna just, it's not signed, so let's just change that. I can pay you with slime and hugs. Yeah, I'm in, I'm in, okay. Let's go build some flags for Jimmy. I wanna see if we can't make something that'll look a little bit like some like fish tails or something like that. I think could be very, very cool. Well, all of that smooth quartz is smelting down for ourselves. The other item I need is a little bit of green wool and we, we don't have any. We got some white. Oh my God, I thought it was one dive and eight wool. Oh, that's awful. Um, Joel has cactus dye, right? Yeah, let's go get some from him. Joel has been busy. Wow. So you think he's gonna do the whole interior of this place? Is his cactus farm is in here. <gasps> yes. And his moss bone meal farm. Nope, that's a map. Wow, that looks really cool. Here we are. And it is an absolute mess of corruption over here. If you missed the live stream last week, by the way, Joel and I put Jimmy while he was AFK inside this little plane. It was pretty adorable. But on a more important note, oh my, Jimmy, 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 you ask me, you ask me to build flags. You don't even put the floor in. All right, this is gonna work much better right there. We do that guy and we throw our chiseled stone brick on top as the base for the flag. Then from there, we're gonna do a little bit of a wall action and then we're gonna go up probably one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's got a good amount of height to it. And here we bring in the green and the lime and then a green, something a little bit like in there. And then we start incorporating some white as this flag is stretching out further down the way. We get something a little bit like this. Maybe we do one of those guys up there. The goal here is to make the flag feel alive as if it's actually whipping back and forth in the wind. And I think it's gonna be very cool. But down here, I want the super fun detail of this guy right like that, another slab right in here, and then we put a stair maybe like this, and over here starting another tail fin. You might get what I'm trying to go for here. Give an old good flyaway and turn around. <gasps> I kinda love that. Oh, that actually turned out really well. The goal is to make it look like a cod, and I think we did it. And one final finishing touch here, we can bring a bunch of chains going all the way up to this. And we do a lever right here and flip it down. Perfect, the first flag of the Cod Empire. Three more to go, let's do it. Well, these all turned out a little different than the last. I tried to make it look like the wind is hitting them all in weird ways. So there's a lot of movement in the build, like that one that's curling around back on itself, but I love them. I think they turned out really, Really cool, so we've got the four flags on the four corners, and I think that's all he was hoping for. The big thing to say is uh, make sure all your flags are pointing the same, the same direction, otherwise it looks weird. Next up, we are gonna be working on something that I've been putting off for a very, very long time. The Mega Base, and I will be honest, folks, I've tried designing this thing quite a few times, and I just never really got something that I enjoyed all that much. I had the general idea here, but taking the sketch or the outline and transforming it as something that is really cool, it just wasn't happening. But I am very, very happy to say that uh, we didn't die flying through it. And number two, I finally got something that I think is fan fantastic. So it's finally time to get back on the grind and build up our mega base. First though, we need to get all of the blocks together. Huh, this is weird. All of the red trees disappeared. Did something happen? There's still a glass pane over there. I tried three times, I can never get it. Whoa, even these got transformed. What is going on? I'm sorry, even Joey's place? is cleared something happened huh well anyways i ran over here to shovels because she said that i could borrow some or have some of her blackstone and that being good neighbors i could just walk over here and take it and there should be a little bit in here oh there's a tiny bit oh awesome okay that's actually gonna help a lot a stack and a half now that we've got the gold farm and i can't really think of anybody on the server who wants that much gold i figured a great use for it could be just turning it all into piglin bartering stuff which we'll deal with shortly as i need a lot more blackstone than we have in there regardless we had a lot of resources to gather so i planted a bunch of acacia trees got them all up there and decided to gather the leaves too because we're probably gonna need 
need that later on. And then I spent probably an hour and a half, maybe two hours just in my chest room staring at the chest, pulling things out of there. It was painful. But after that, I figured we need a bunch of black concrete to really make the windows pop and stand out instead of just being in an endless void. We also had a visit from Catherine and Sausage as they're riding on Joey's Raptors. And then finally, I dug down into the mines and got a bunch more cobbled deep slate for ourselves because I legit can't get enough on the server. But now it is time for the final step before our mega build the piglin bartering system. All right, we got our three piggies there and let's head on into the nether. Where for safety purposes, I wanna make these piglin bartering farms on the roof. And I believe over by our gold farm, we'll be able to get a spot where some piglins can spawn in. There we go, the little base sections are now in. And now for the unfortunate part of, I need to create a spawning platform and over here is basalt delta, that's not gonna work. And now with Joel online, we have to do our best to get a piglin to spawn on here. Oh, uh, this is gonna suck. <laughs> I'm gonna just step in here and say that that was a really, really bad idea to reel it right next to the gold farm. So take two with a bunch of netherrack farther away. Let's hope this right here is actually gonna spawn some mobs. We're pretty far, ooh, yes it is. Yes it is, but they're all zombies. Okay, we just gotta do this a few times until it's actually clear and now the dangerous part. I'm sorry, boys, I'm sorry. Oh, I think we got some live boys. We've got some live boys, yes. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Name tags, name tags, piggies, piggies, piggy, piggy, angry piggy, very angry piggy. Don't kill your friends, please. Look at you, you're beautiful. Come on in all the way up and stay and in. <gasps> He's in, yes. Now what we need to do is get a dropper right there. Nice, first one's locked in. Hello, up here, please. Hello, hello, come up here. The sword guy was so much easier, come on now. Do you want this gold? Do you want this gold? Come up here and get this gold. Go and get the gold. Have to lure him up with gold. Do you like nuggies? I like nuggies. Do you like nuggies? Take the nugget. Do you like golden carrots? <gasps> oh, you do, yes, perfect. Come on up here, come on up here. Here's another carrot, have a carrot. And there's another one right there. Forward, please. No, no, get over here, get over here, get over here. Just gonna nudge, I'm just nudging. Yes, he's in. Okay, we did it, perfect. I think when making gold farm related things, if you have it, you have to use actual blocks of gold. Otherwise, are you even doing it right? So we've got little comparators inside of here. We throw a button on to manually activate them. And we come up here, we do this guy, that guy, and we run a redstone line right into the dropper. At the top, we're just gonna load in a bunch of gold. And then I believe if I hit that, he's got a gold. Perfect, yes. There we go, all of the systems are now fully operational. We just need to expand the storage down here a bit more at the base. I put a full stack of blocks of gold, so nine stacks of gold ingots inside of each of them. Well, I've gotten all of the rod and flesh out and I'm pretty sure I'm just about to crash the server here because look at all of that. I just did that to see how much stuff we could get over here for a little while. And now it's time to get rid of all of the lag on empires. Yep, that's, that's, oh, I picked it all back up. What even is the point of rot and flesh? Like, I know you can trade it with a cleric, but there's so many better ways of getting emeralds, I feel like. Maybe I'm wrong, but let me know down in the comments. And what do we got over here? 14 blackstone, totally worth this whole time. What do we got? Ooh, we almost got two stacks in there and we got 45 in there, nice. Ooh, fire resist pots, that's gonna be great though. <gasps> You guys are amazing. Now I really wanna see if we're standing all the way up there, does it still work? That's the big question. Oh no, I can't see them. Ha ha, I can see them dropping items. Perfect, so we can AFK up here and get more gold and spend our gold at the same time. Oh, it's gonna be great. We finally found a use for gold on the server. Oh my God, look at all those piggies falling out of here. Holy cow, I've been AFK for like a half hour or so and how much stuff have we gotten? <gasps> Ooh, how much blackstone do we have? And so much other worthless junk, but look at that. Oh, that's so worth it. How's the gold doing up here? It's empty. Oh no, it's all in there. Oh wow, we actually didn't use much at all. <gasps> this is gonna be great. And look at all that gravel. Where they're getting water in the nether, I've never known. This is more gravel than I've ever had. Oh, this is a happy, happy accident here. I wanted the blackstone, but I'm almost more excited about this. Okay, back to the mega build. So we have an AFK Joel here on the server. Where do we think AFK Joel is? We've found him. Oh, there he is. Hi, buddy. How you doing in there? Do you have any stuff? Oh, he probably has stuff on him if he's got terracotta around him. Yeah, he's got his armor on. Okay, well, this won't be too terrible. We don't want to take the blocks with us, though. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> He's got his blocks on him, he's fine. We've got everything together here, my friends, and we've successfully messed with Joel and put him in a box of crying obsidian. So, you know, we're just doing our good work here on the server. But check all this stuff out. Oh, it's everywhere. We're not using all those torches. 
Those are from Sausage helping me light up the mountains. But anyways, for the first time in quite a while, my friends, let's go ahead and kick this off in a good old fashioned time lapse mode. Where Flip's actually gonna talk. Oh my gosh, hello. So we're building up this base over here. And as I mentioned a few times ago, I took a lot of attempts at designing this thing. And I finally found something that I like. And the goal here is to make it super steampunky. As if this old mansion, we moved into it and just started breaking down the walls and changing it as we needed to, to turn it into like this tinkerer's workshop laboratory, whatever it might be filling this entire thing. But anyways, mashing those two concepts together was really, really difficult for me, which is why it took so many times to do this, but I'm really happy with the end result here. I think it's looking fantastic. And of course, how about a little bit of a look here with the shaders turned on? This thing is looking absolutely fantastic, and I think it qualifies as mega here for ourselves. But don't worry, it's gonna keep on growing, and eventually we might actually do the sides and the back. The back is gonna be pushing it, but the sides? I think we can manage the sides, because we can kind of see it from right here. That doesn't look as great. <laughs> Now, obviously we still have to do the terraforming and everything like that, but that's gonna be coming at a later date because I also wanna completely rework the terraforming on this edge here. I've got a fun idea in mind. It's just gonna be a little uh, wacky. Let's, let's go with wacky. Incorporating a bit of the block over there that we have as rocks everywhere throughout this base. And then following through on wacky ideas, I'm gonna need a lot of spruce signs here and we're actually gonna be making a little bit of a corral because I wanna create a scavenger hunt. I know those two don't really go hand in hand, but it'll make sense in a moment. I did just put Joel in a crying obsidian box before building this thing, but it's been a few hours and he's logged off. So I'm assuming he found it. And to make sure we're in the clear on that one, I wanted to set up a scavenger hunt for Joel where the end location is gonna be a lot of these guys. How did a blood sheep make it all the way out here? Get out of here, bud. Now, if I remember correctly, we can use golden carrots here and they'll breed and make a baby. No, they're just eating my carrots. I thought that made baby. Right, you have to tame them first and I don't really wanna be taming horses if we're just gonna let Joel do whatever he wants. So let's go see if we can find some in the area. The problem is, is I think also early in the season, I might have used them for some sources of leather early on. But hey, here's another one. Speaking of which, I don't know who did this, but there's a chicken head and two horse heads. Um, okay, we're just gonna take them. I have had to travel so dang far to get these horses. Oh my gosh, we are almost back home though. Check this out, the beacon bees are right up there. We just gotta get all six horses all the way around this forest. And there it is, the corral. All right, let's get these guys to their new home. Did we lose one? We did. Get back over here. You are not getting out of this one, mister. All right, come on, everybody. File on in, right in here. Perfect, there we go. I'm gonna try and do one more lap around here. I haven't really went down this way too far, so I'm hoping there might be a few more horses right in through this forest. Ended up all the way beyond the crystal cliffs this time, but we got six more and I'm hoping this is enough. <laughs> I think that's like 15 in there now. It has been so long since we built this pathway, but it's really one of my favorite ways to walk into our empire now. I really think it's awesome. And once we get the terraforming done in front of the new mega base, Oh, that's gonna be even better. There we are. All right, everybody, y'all get to stay in here. <laughs> oh, there's so many horses and I've fallen back in. We're gonna work backwards on this one. So we got happy horsing around, Joel. Enjoy, whip. The next step is at Catherine's base. I don't know why, I just randomly picked it where we're gonna be leaving a barrel with this piece of leather with coordinates. She already has a barrel here. Okay, uh, let's do it right inside her village. Gonna have a few misleading signs in the nether all over the place. I'm not showing everything on cam here because I don't want y'all spoiling this. Of course, a random sign at the nether ceiling. My plan is to ask him over for a drink. So I'm gonna send him here to Sausage's Tavern after he goes to mine. I had a great idea here. Uh, we're gonna change this first sign as I've been setting up all the other ones and adding one more step here to the whole process. You thought it was the horses, huh? Nether roof, smiley face. Mostly because I know Joel's gonna go a type of a sound or just like a type of sound in there. And I, 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 I just, I kind of just want to aggravate him a little bit. That, that's really all it is. It's just for fun. We are in the middle of absolutely nowhere. So it's got a little torch. <laughs> that's gonna be great. Oh, I cannot watch. <laughs> I cannot wait to watch him go through all this because this is a long journey to get there. <laughs> I do feel a little bad, but not, not really. Not enough to not do it. That's the level of bad. Now for the final piece of the puzzle here in Mazalia, we gotta send the invite to Joel himself to actually now know that this whole thing's going on. 
oh, there's a lot of mobs out here. And there we go. This should be able to direct him there. He probably doesn't know that it's an inn or anything. It doesn't really say too much on the outside, but besides a bed and an item frame. So I added that part there. But that should start him off on the journey here. It's going to be super funny. Back home, and there we have it, my friends. You can see the top of the mega base sticking out over the towers. And I am so excited to keep working on this project here. Any ideas you might have, be sure to let me know down in the comments below. Thank you all so very much for watching the video. Please be sure to click that like button if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you're brand new. But with that, my friends, I will catch you on the flip side. Goodbye.